Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It's Dooney Addict 615, and I am back with part of my birthday haul accessories. I guess that's what we're going to call it. But anyway, um, I have some comparisons for these items as well. Pick them up during the 12 days of Dooney time period, but off of ILD. Because as I've shared many times on this channel, ILD had the better deals. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping, stopping by my channel uh, to see these uh, birthday hauled accessories. And um, I hope that if you enjoy what you find here, that you will consider subscribing, turning on the bell alert, sticking around and watching a few more videos. If you are a returning subscriber, Thank you very much for your continued support and your patience with me over the last few months um, because it has been a very um, different time in life for me. So I appreciate you um, staying with me through this process. So the I've got two Dooney boxes down here and um, I think some of the items are duplicates just in different colors because that's how we roll here on this channel but again I hope you stick around so that you can see these as a comparison so that you know how they compare to other items that you may be more familiar with or that you may already have in your collection. So the first item here is the Florentine Lizzie bag and yes, I picked it up in the color black. I know, you're seeing more and more of that on my channel. Um, the reason that I picked this bag up in black is because I've been looking for something to replace my black barrel bag. I have a mini or a small barrel bag from back in the day that was um, very much used as a grab and go uh, small bag, movies, dinners, brunch, that kind of thing. But cell phone sizes have changed since then. My usual carry has changed since then. We've had the whole pandemic since then. So I need a little bit more space. The other bag that um, was in black that I carried quite often is the nylon small pocket satchel and that again is nylon it's lightweight it holds considerably more than lizzie but what i like about um lizzie is that she's a little bit more dainty a little more tabletop friendly can definitely fit the uh, cell phones from today Whereas that small pocket shoulder bag, I've got to get the right name of it. The pockets on the front are smaller. So it's more like for a first generation iPhone or even like an Android flip phone. Um, so here we go with Lizzie. Lizzie debuted on QVC. And I know that there were some people that picked Lizzie up at that time. I'm not sure if it ever was on sale on um, QVC or if it just sold at the retail price but Izzy Lizzie I'm sorry Lizzie was on sale during the 12 days of Dooney as a blockbuster my goodness as a doorbuster deal on I Love Dooney and she was $65 so here it is in the black let's take some of this packaging off so lizzie is florentine she is a small shoulder bag she has gold toned jewelry quality hardware and it adds just a little bit of interest and just a little bit of polish um so that if you wanted to use this bag as one of those after five special occasion, date night, black tie bags, then because of this gold chain detail that I'm trying to get the plastic off of, it would actually work for that. 
It also has a Florentine luggage hang tag, which can be detached from the bag because I feel like the hang tag is just a little bit too much because it hangs lower than the bag. Um, it hangs lower, you know, it's a little long for me for this bag, but it can be used on other bags. And there's your gold chain detail there. It has the Florentine patch there on the front. No pockets or zippers on the back. No feet under the bottom. And there you go from a comparison for, um, so you can see the depth. And then on the inside of this bag, it has a snap pocket closure. It comes with a small dust bag. It has a the normal key keeper and the red cotton twill lining. So on the front wall, it has two, nope, just one. So it has a one snap pocket that is collared in leather. And then on the other side, it has a zipper pocket. So again, phone will fit, mask will fit, hand sanitizer, car keys, um, sunglasses, if you don't put them, you know, in the hard case, it will hold quite a bit, including having the key keeper with the, um, the loop so that you can add your keys if you need to. So I really, really liked Lizzie and decided at $65 for Florentine leather, it would make for a great small bag or even a grab and go, carrying it inside another bag, etc. So that is the first Lizzie. The second Lizzie that I picked up is actually in the color navy. And I'm not sure how this navy is going to compare. I want navy to look blue. I don't want navy to look black. My last few duty pieces have looked black, even though they said they were navy. The difference between these two is the navy has the red zipper tape. And the black one is more black, black. It's just the black and the gold accessor um, gold hardware. The navy does have the red um, zipper tape. It also has contrast stitching where the black black does not. I don't know if you can tell that this one is navy on camera or if this looks just more matte black and this looks more shiny black, but those are the two colors. So navy and black. And then, just drop my water bottle. Before we switch up, um, the next purchase is another pocket wristlet clutch. I think I already have two of these. I don't think I have the red. If I do, my sister will end up with a red um and surprisingly with her favorite color being blue she's actually been carrying a red bag so i may make a convert out of her yet but this a little cutie i missed out on this bag when it first debuted i felt like this bag was backwards that dooney missed the mark on it for this entire collection and I ended up skipping this collection and once it was no longer available I really regretted not picking it up. What made me feel like this bag was backwards is that the patch is on the back where the zipper pocket is. Now today I realized I could have carried this inside or out but the pocket on the front actually has a little bit more of a gusset. It has the whip stitch detail. It has this um, buckle style uh, snap closure. And I just couldn't see carrying it the reverse way. Now I've fallen in love with the look. 
the bold whip stitching, the fact that it has an outside pocket on both the front and the back. So I could um, easily, I think my one of my phones, likely my work phone, which is an iPhone, would fit in the outside pocket. And then I could put my regular phone on in the interior. It is similar in size to Lizzie, but has so much more function. And I think I caught the pocket clutch wristlet when it was on sale for like $87.10, which is great for all of the organization and that this bag has sold for so much more. But now that I'm looking at it, I probably, ooh, I probably could have, should have, maybe on the hunt for the Timoro Brown in this one. I did consider getting the pocket clutch wristlet in black, but because of the gold tone detail and the way that I plan to use this bag, I just couldn't see it providing the same look as um, the black in this one because of the whip stitch detail. To me, while the whip stitch detail is very, very classic, it's equestrian, Dooney is known for it. It does, this gives more to me of a casual vibe um, or more of a business vibe where I do feel like this one can definitely be dressed up considerably more. That being said, you know I love my outside pockets. It has two, a snap pocket that gussets slightly in the front. See that gusset there on the side. It has a zipper pocket in the back. It has amazing hardware that finds itself, which is one of my gripes with Coach, is that the hardware, the magnets just don't seem to be strong enough. And then on the interior, building dust cover. And on the inside, it is just a little powerhouse because it has a slip pocket here on the front wall and on the back wall it has a zipper pocket florentine patch here on the back and it also has a key keeper now this one doesn't have the uh, detachable o-ring like lizzie has um, but it does have the key keeper. And I have found myself during this holiday season, see my tree is still up. Um, I found myself using the key leash more than I ever have um, because I typically don't use them. But what I had happened a couple of weeks ago as I was on a flight out of Philly, my little angel key that hangs on the side of my bag. I've shown it here on this channel many a times. It actually got caught on my coat and pulled off. And that's never happened before. But it got caught on the belt on um, my outerwear. And I was glad that it hooked. But since then, what I've been doing is just hanging my keys on the side and then clipping the key leash to any of the O-rings that have my key. So if they pull off, if they pull up again, um, or for some reason they come off, then they are still attached to the key leash. So I've been using that a lot more and I could definitely see um, a need for it in these smaller bags as well. Now, I do have one more item. Um, I think it's one more item. And then we are going to dive into some bag comparisons so that you can see how this clutch wristlet and how the Lizzie compares to other bags that you may already have in your Dooney stash or that are available from other brands that you may want to pick up as an alternative or as an addition to your collection. So, so far we have Lizzie, Dooney and Burke Lizzie, um, in from the Florentine collection in black. We have the Dooney and Burke Florentine Lizzie in navy. And we have the Dooney and Burke pocket clutch wristlet Florentine collection in the color red. And the last item here, let's see, do I want to share this? What is this? 
I'm not sure I remember what this is. It may go with the bag that I've already purchased, but we'll see here. So, Dooney and Burke box. And what I have here. is the wallet to go with my Denison Plum Wine Janine. Look at that color. I am, um, I do, I think I have one other wallet, this one. Um, these are the only two that I have in this style. And as you can tell, I've not used this one. But as I am continuing to streamline my wallet carry, cards, checkbook, etc., I realized that this bag, this wallet actually does have quite a few card slots and it has a slip pocket here. It has four card slots on this side. It has a slip and four card slots on this side. So it does meet my, you know, minimum card slot requirements. It also has a center zip for coins or other small items that you'd like to keep in your wallet. I always have a safety pin on me. You just never know when something's going to happen, when a button is going to pop, when something's going to gap and you need a pin. So typically if I've got maybe change, there's probably more likely a safety pin in here than actual coins. But then there's also this space here where you can drop other items or you can drop cash and on one side receipts on the you know whatever so i do have a matching bag for this wallet because i felt like while it was available i should go ahead and take advantage instead of the infamous dooney hunt because sometimes dooney does not let me rephrase that Dooney does not release collections and matching accessories always at the time that they have bags released. We know that in the community, sometimes it takes years before an accessory appears or reappears from a bag that you've previously purchased in your collection. So to avoid that with this bag and because the color um, is so gorgeous and I was so excited about the bag when I saw it in Orlando. If you've not seen it, check out the shop with me in Orlando. It's posted in December. This was just amazing. So I wanted to take advantage of this. I will try not to misplace this before I reveal the bag to you, but the bag is here. And um, that's kind of it for the haul. Now let's talk about some of the um, accessories that are similar to in size, maybe in function usage to the is the Lizzie. Why can I not keep that together tonight? Lizzie and the pocket clutch wristlet. And we're going to start with Lizzie. So Lizzie um, compared to the coach Nolita. So here we go with the two black bags. Lizzie is larger it is a longer bag <clears throat> so it has more capacity again i knew that going in lizzie is a little bit of a t um oh my goodness nolita is a little bit more of a tight fit for everything and rarely when i watch what fits in a nolita or what fits in an LV Pouchette, do people have their phones in there? So I wasn't, um, I knew that Lizzie would be larger. And there you have, but what Lizzie has in length, it feels like Nolita makes up, Nolita makes up for it in depth. But let me just kind of 
Oh yeah, definitely. Nolita is definitely deeper. You can see that from a comparison. You can see on this side, you can still see the base of Nolita. <clears throat> Neither of the straps are detachable completely, but Nolita does have a lobster claw, so you could turn it into a wristlet where Lizzie has no detachment, no release. It, it, it is a fixed um, strap and it can get twisted here, it feels like, because it is not rotating because of the way the leather is attached here to the gold D-ring, which is at the top. So those are those two. So Lizzie, no Lita, side-by-side -side comparisons here. And then we are going to do Lizzie and the Alto Ella which I really, really enjoyed using and carrying in 2022. I got an amazing deal on these Alto bags. And I still have, I think, two or maybe three colors that I need to share with you on the channel. Um, but this was an amazing carry on its own. Um, I didn't really enjoy it using as a grab-and-go bag in a bag because it was just redundant. But as a small bag, as an op alternative to Lizzie, Alto, Dooney's top of the line, Florentine, what I would say is more of their everyday high end. These two are spectacular in craftsmanship um, as far as the leather goes. What I've been a little disappointed about and that I shared with you before is that I did find where the glazing on the Ella um, was peeling just a little bit, but these from a size comparison. The um, couchette hanging here, I don't know why that doesn't bother me, but this leather hang tag does. I may have to try it and see if I can get over it because it never crossed my mind to take this off. It just didn't bother me. From a strap standpoint, the Ella strap is adjustable because it has the belt belting for the shoulder strap. Lizzie, no belting, no lobster claw. It is absolutely fixed. Neither of them have outside pockets. Neither of them have feet. You can see the Dooney and Burke um, embossing here. And then of course you have the Florentine patch here on the front. And then neither of them have anything on the back. Just very clean, structured lines. I would absolutely use this bag in the same way that I described using Lizzie. I definitely feel like this can be after five. And if I recall correctly in um, the recommendations that I did during the holidays, Ella is one of those bags for after five that Dooney could absolutely um remarket and it would be like the perfect date night after five wedding you know function bag they both have the cotton twill lining but you get more organization in lizzie because you have both a snap pocket and a zipper pocket in the Ella, you only have the zipper pocket on the back wall. And then you have a place to put like a credit card or your ID. There is no organization on this front wall, but it is cotton twill. It's not like the raw suede or anything. But the bottom of the bag is um, un in unfinished leather you've got all of the detailing on the hardware that says Dooney and Burke no detailing on the chain here but again you do have quite a bit of gold jewelry tone hardware to set this bag apart so here is the comparison Lizzie Ella both from Dooney and Burke Florentine leather 
Alto. Okay, the next is a bag that I completely took the strap off of. And uh, when I shared it with you, it was a comparison to the um, Hermes toiletry case as well as the Louis Vuitton um, small toiletry case. And that is the Dunienberg Janine crossbody. I took the leather strap off of this and have a yet to put it back on. I don't even know if I know where the strap is because I use this as a toiletry bag. I have used it as a catch-all. I absolutely love this. It is structured, it holds a lot, and it is, um, it has you know, great organization. It has a zipper pocket on the back wall. It has a slip pocket on the front wall. It has the strap um, hardware so that if I wanted to put the Coach uh, Silver Chain strap on here, I could absolutely use it as a little small shoulder bag or as a crossbody. But for me, I just used it as a, um, as a catch-all, kind of as a toiletry, not even as a grab-and-go piece. So how it compares to Lizzie, because again, you can put a strap on this or wristlet. Um, you know, you have some functionality with this from a carry standpoint that you don't have with Lizzie because Lizzie's strap is fixed. You can't remove it, but it does have a very different look and feel. So this is again the Janine crossbody. Um, it is available, I believe, still on I Love Dooney in the DB75 collection. I've, um, is there, I, I think that may be the only one that it's available in now. This one is from Toscana in the color Ginger. And it is similar in length. as Lizzie. Lizzie's actually a, just a smidgen longer, if you see right there from that corner. They have similar depths. Janine does look a little bit wider, but it's because of the way that the base of the bag actually concaves. So it looks like it's a little bit wider, but they are actually the same depth. And both have the Florentine patch, gold hardware, silver hardware. And you do, of course, have the contrast stitching. Lizzie in black is black on black. And then, of course, the other ones have different colors. The um, same thread stitching as the Janine. So there's that one. The next comparison is the Coach Noe Pop-Up, which comes with an accessory piece outside um, turn lock closure. No pocket on the back. It does have a detachable shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is also adjustable, but you can very easily take this off, use it as a clutch, use it as a catch-all, use it as a wallet. You could also attach one of the Coach Gold Chain straps and use it in a bunch of different ways. It also has a hang tag um, with the Coach C that's hanging there, similar to the colchette on the alto bag and the luggage tag on the lizzie gold tone hardware again you could take the little accessory piece out and just use the front pocket for organization like your phone or receipts or mask hand sanitizer or if you're comfortable having your wallet kind of nested here in the front as opposed to securing the inside of the bag. There is the tongue loop closure for you to be able to secure that. No pocket on the back. From a depth standpoint, I feel like Lizzie takes the cake here. 
and Lizzie is also longer. So if you see that, so Coach has um, completed the seams, the edging on this bag so that it actually creates a little bit of a base for the bag to stand on. It doesn't have feet, but it does have a base here. Um, and because it has that base, which doesn't have storage to the edge, it gives the illusion that the Noe is a little bit longer from an internal capacity than it actually is. But as you can tell, the bag actually stops here and there is more than a finger's depth to the edge of the bag. So Lizzie is definitely bigger, has more capacity. This no A um, is more grab and go, small bag, just the essentials, where I do feel that you can get a bit more in Lizzie. And someone like a phenomenal personality, if you're looking for um, ways to pack a small bag, I would recommend going over to her channel, taking a look at some of her older videos, because in my opinion, she still remains the queen of packing a small bag and making sure that you can get all of the essentials in there. I would love to see Sonja do something um, with a bag this size, um, but I definitely know that this one has um, more capacity. So in the interior from an organization standpoint, Lizzie definitely has more organization because Lizzie has the key keeper, inside slip, also has the zip pocket. And for Noe, it is just the outside wallet um, piece that's styled similar to the Coach L zip without the L. But on the interior, it is just a small little narrow cavity. This would also be good, um, kind of could be, maybe it could be used similar to the Nolita with just your essentials in, but you still have um, a, a, basically a full size wallet for all of your cards and things if you decided to use this in a different way as opposed to just a bag by itself. So that is, um, where did it go? Here we go. I don't know that I finished comparing them. So let me show you this side. It, there's always something hanging. So here, and the hang tag here. Okay, all right. So those, that's the side comparison. And again, you can tell that Lizzie definitely has more depth and therefore more capacity. Okay, so those are the comparisons for Lizzie. Now I'm gonna do just a quick size comparison for the pocket clutch wristlet so that you can see it compared to all of the bags that we've um, discussed tonight. So pocket clutch wristlet, this is the Janine crossbody again. Gonna just do the side profile here. Look at that pin tuck detail and that whip stitching. Oh my goodness, for $87.10, I am so glad I, I, I picked it up. I just, I'm regretting now that I didn't pick up more at this price. So if you see it someplace for $87.10 or less, please let me know. I definitely want to add the color Timoro Brown. And here we go. Again, Janine is in the brown. The pocket clutch wristlet is in the red Florentine. Both of these bags are from Dooney and Burke. Color ginger, color red, uh, Toscana collection, Florentine collection. So there's those two. The next is the comparison to Lizzie. They both have these little top handle carries. Let me just kind of level those out so that you can see the straps. The strap on the pocket clutch wristlet is definitely a little longer. It also has the lobster claw on one side. So it does, um, you could, I think it's a little big for a wristlet, more of a clutch or a small bag, but 
They both have gold tone hardware. Back pocket, no back pocket. Neither of them have feet. The pocket clutch wristlet kills Lizzie when it comes to organization. Front snap pocket, back zip pocket, plus it has an interior slip and zip along with a key leash to keep your keys or anything else that's, you know, that has a, a an ability to be attached. The next comparison is none other than Ella. So here we go with Ella. Let's see these top here. The Ella strap could potentially be as long as the pocket clutch wristlet. I have two, three more adjustments to make this strap shorter. And well, yeah. So it would be shorter. This is as long as it's going to be because it's in the longest uh, belt setting here. No outside pocket. No feet under the bottom of either bag. Let me put this on the back side because that pocket protruding may interfere with your ability to really see the size comparisons here. Oh, the side profiles. This, um, I, man, I'm glad I finally got this added. This bag, the Ella, is finished very similar to the Noe in that it doesn't have the feet, but the way that Dooney finished the, um, the edging and the glaze, it actually is kind of pin tucked so that it has a little bit of a base for the bag to sit on. So here we go. These are, this is not the intent, but I wanted to at least show you that both of these bags are finished very similar here. Okay. All right, so next is the Noe Pop-Up. And it has a much, much longer strap. Look at the differences in those colors. This, it actually makes the red from Dooney look darker. And even though this is reading more um, orange in, per it's kind of a red orange. I think that's actually the color name. Mm, yeah, red, orange, multi. It actually looks even brighter beside the Florentine red. And then again, side profiles. And that also again has the lobster claw on that side. I don't know if I showed that in any of the profiles yet. And then there is no comparison from a capacity standpoint between these two um but the length the pocket clutch wristlet is not significantly longer um from end to end but it is definitely noticeably larger in size when you look at the fact that the storage actually ends here not out here right you can kind of see the the light so that it, it's not completely aligned there. And then the bags are just tumbling over here. The last comparison is the pocket clutch and the Nolita. And again, I, it's just because I have these out, I am in no way saying that these are, um, I'm com these are not apples to apples, but these are the comparators that I pulled out mainly for Lizzie, but since we're here, why not compare them all? So that's what we are doing. I'm gonna just pull that back so you can, come on. They both have the lobster claws. This is silver hardware, gold hardware on Dooney. I just love that spotted animal print there. And then the bottom base. 
I don't know. The Is the depth that much different between these two? Actually, again, Nolita seems to be a little bit wider. You can see there. But not significantly. And it's more because the bottom of the Nolita is flat where the bottom on this clutch wristlet is more rounded. It doesn't have that flat base. So they very well could, I don't know. They could be the same. It's just the way that the bottoms are finished that look like that it's making them different. So those are some of the accessories, including the wallet that I picked up. I probably should have um, shown you that the wallet you know, what that wallet can and can't fit in, but you'd likely be using a card case because these are small bags. Um, so let me know, do you have any of these accessories? Of the accessories, which ones do you think are closer in comparisons? Did you decide that you do or don't need um, one or two of these added to your collection because you need them or you already have something similar? I'm curious, leave a comment. Um, down below. I look forward um, to hearing what you think about these comparisons and even more the amazing price that both the pocket clutch wristlet was on sale for at $87.10 and the Florentine Lizzie for a whopping $65. So these are just some of the accessory pieces and small bags that I picked up uh, to celebrate my birthday in 2022. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you so very much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, stick around and watch a few more videos. And until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.